now. You know that. It's a man's game tonight. Here we come. It's a man's game now. Put your hands on him and let's play. Put your hands on them and let's play. Let's see if they can play physical football today. Let's see if they can run without nobody touching them. You know what I'm talking about? Let's become great. You know how we do our thing. Follow me. Follow me. Hop on this back. Hey, make your career last as long as mine. Listen to me, pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. If I said, I don't go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't gonna die. At the end of pain is success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. All right, give me a second because I'm getting excited right quick. Right, because I realize something. When I start studying successful people, what I realize successful people do is that they don't go with the days, they go with the hours. And if you only have 24 hours in a day and you sleep in eight of those hours, then you only have what left? You ain't, you don't, listen to me, you only operate with 16 hours to be successful. Now, let's leave, let's leave sleep alone. You slept for eight hours, you got 16 hours left. How many of y'all talk on the phone? Right? You, you have talked away your success. So some of you, if you look at your day, you probably spend an hour or two hours on the telephone. So you only have so many hours in a day to be successful. Eight of them just went to sleep. Another two of them went to what? Talking on the telephone. Listen to me, that's 10 out of 24. You only got 14 left to be successful. And out of that 14, some of it you're using the cab. You was in the cab for about an hour chilling. Success, whether you know it or not, is very intentional and deliberate. There has never ever been a person who blew up and was successful and it happened by chance. Not a rapper, the rappers, they spend time writing and they're in the studios. Right? We're the only ones thinking we're going to blow up and we're not putting in no hours. But according to the Bible, the Bible says that the, the most that's promised to man is 70 years. Right? And watch this, 70 years look like a long time. But when you look at it as you only got 604,400 hours. That's short. And for most of y'all, if you were start, listen, this is what I want you to do when you get home. If you start subtracting video games, TV, just chilling, if you subtract that, you probably down to about 300,000 hours. When you finish playing, There was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money, and so he went to this guru, right? He told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit, 
He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. God, I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. The shoulder area. So this old man, crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man didn't scratch it, hold him down. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful.